right, you guys. So I'm going to start off by giving you an overview. And this is the view if you're standing from the hallway. So you can see the fireplace and you can see part of the couch and then also the coffee table. I'm going to walk more into the living room to give you a better view. And there's the couch. And you can kind of see the dining room from here as well. And there's another view of the fireplace. So here's the view if you're standing at the front door. Um, you can see the hallway right there. And then if you go straight ahead, um, it's actually a door that goes down into our basement, which um, we're actually getting ready to renovate. So um, yeah, this is the view standing at the front door. So now I'm just gonna briefly talk about everything, kind of let you guys know what kind of look I was going for in here, the kind of mood that I wanted to set, and let you guys know where I got everything. Um, so first off, um, I was really going for a southern kind of country, very cozy look. Um, I wanted the living room to be very inviting and cozy and very, um, just welcoming and I also wanted to twist it and give it somewhat of a modern glitz and glam so that's why I decided to add this beautiful mirror that I have on the wall and I actually got that mirror from Z Gallery it is very 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 heavy like it is a really heavy mirror I didn't expect it to be as heavy as it is we actually had to get professional hangers to put it on the wall because it is really really heavy but it's a beautiful piece it's definitely a statement piece it's the first thing everyone sees when they come in here so i absolutely love that and the sofa is actually from big lots it's a black faux leather sectional and i really wanted a sectional in this area um it just gives you more space to just lounge around and be comfortable because after all that's what the family room is all about um so i really love this i didn't want to do anything that was wide or something that i'd be like oh my gosh like be careful because i wanted it to be very comfortable and cozy so i decided to go with this and the leather seems to be really good considering that it's faux like piglet it jumps up there and there aren't any problems or anything and one thing that I really like to do to kind of change up the look for the different seasons is change out the throw pillows so for fall time I decided to do these burnt orange and cream pillows the orange ones are actually from home goods and then the smaller cream colored ones are from Pier one and then that faux sheep that I have on the back is actually from Amazon and the throw that I have over the arm and the back, that is actually from TJ Maxx. So the coffee table was a really good find. Got it from Amazon and it was really affordable. Um, I love the look of it. It's not too big, it's not too small. Um, the one we had in here previously, it was actually a little bit too big and it kind of got in the way. So that's why I decided to order this one and I just really love the overall look of it. And then the little faux fur, not faux fur, but faux sheep rug that I have underneath it. It came from Amazon as well and I really love it. Um, before I had a really big 8x10 rug in here, but with Piglet it was kind of hard to keep it clean and I found myself having to clean it at least once a week and I just got over that. So I pretty much trained Piglet to stay off of the sheep so I could keep it clean and it's just really nice and I love the I love the feel that it gives to this room. So here's a different angle so you can see the end tables a little bit better. I'm not exactly sure where these end tables are from. I wanna say Big Lots. I actually got them from my grandma and they were a chestnut brown color, but I decided to spray paint them so they could go better with my other furniture. And I forgot to mention the things on top of the coffee table earlier. Um, the candles burning are from Bath & Body Works. The one to the left I think is Pumpkin Pecan Waffle. And then the one to the right is Marshmallow Fireside. I got the little holders from Bath & Body Works as well. And the little coasters with the P on them, those are actually from Belk. And the P stands for Pearson, of course. And the little thing in the middle, I think that is from TJ Maxx, if I remember correct. So now we're gonna talk about the Media Center. I always get so many questions about this. Anytime I post a picture on Instagram, 
Everybody wants to know where I got this piece from. I ordered it from Home Decorators and I absolutely love it. It has a lot of storage. So for all of you who want to know where I store my Bath & Body Works candles, this is it. So I absolutely love it. I love the extra storage that it gives you. And it also is three pieces. I'm not sure if you guys can tell, but it's not connected. I noticed when Colton was putting it together, he was putting it together in different sections. And I was like, oh, so it's not connected. So I really love that about it. If I want to um, put it in a different area of the house, I can do it a little bit different. So I really love this piece. It's really nice. It's beautiful. I love that it has the mirror with the white. Really, really gorgeous. And the TV, um, Colton and my brother, they actually hung it up themselves. And it was really simple. Um, there's a lot of tutorials on how to hang those things. So um, yeah, we didn't have to hire professionals. So I was really proud of them for hanging, uh, hanging it on the wall. Um, I really wanted to put the TV on the wall so I could have the space to decorate my little media center however I wanted to. So that's a great advantage to putting your TV on the wall, ladies. You can decorate, you know, you can decorate it and make it look all cute. So now I'm going to talk about the pieces on top. So the little um, jar all the way to the left. That is actually a candle holder. I got it from Bath & Body Works and I just like to put candles in it that I'm not burning right now. I really love the look of it. It's perfect for fall time. And then those little owls, those, I wanna say I got those from either Ross or TJ Maxx. I absolutely love Ross, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, um, Home Goods, anywhere like that. That's probably where I got all of my stuff from. And then also those little candles that are lit, those are actually um, just LED lights and those are like artificial candles. I really like those. I got those from TJ Maxx as well. And as you guys can tell, I have a um, clock sitting on top of the direct TV box and then I have a flower behind that because although it was really simple for my husband and brother to hang the TV, they um, didn't get to um, hide the wires, so I just decided to put that little flower back there. And you really can't tell, so for now, that'll do until we're able to hide the wire. And a little floor vase all the way to the right is actually from Target, and the little flowers inside are from Target as well. And I like to switch those out with the seasons, which is another tip. Um, you can always just go and buy different floral arrangements in different colors. And here's the fireplace which was most a deal breaker for us getting this house. I really don't like the whole brick fireplace, but it's kind of grown on me a little bit. Um, the little white part wasn't here when we moved in. I actually ordered that from Amazon and it's an electric um, fireplace, so it does give off real heat. So that definitely made me like the fireplace a little bit more. We're um, thinking about taking sheetrock and covering up the brick. So that might be a renovation that we do in the near future because I am just not really feeling the whole brick area. But I really do like the fireplace because it's really, really cute to decorate for holidays. So I have been enjoying that part. So we're gonna start off with the little chef on top. So as you guys can tell, I have pumpkins on each end and then I also have those little hurricane jars and then I have some pictures of Colton and I. Um, one of them is from our wedding and we got everybody to sign around it or at least everybody who um, saw that picture. And then the two on the sides are from our honeymoon when we went to the Bahamas and then we have this little diamond name, this little diamond name plate I guess you could call it or name set. Um, I ordered that from Etsy and it says Mr. and Miss Pearson and we used that on our I think either our cake table or our gift table the day of our wedding. The bottom portion of the fireplace I just have this little cute Frankenstein and I got that from Walmart and I have the little skull and the little Franken-she. It was actually a Frankenstein and a Franken-she, but one day Piglet was barking at the UPS man and he knocked over that candle holder and the Frankenstein actually broke. So I just put the little skull on there and the skull is from Pier 1 and the candle holders I got from Ross. 
and the little pumpkins on the side came from Big Lots. And then I have a cute little mummy and then this thing that kind of looks like a mason jar with a light inside and that came from Big Lots. And I want to say, I don't know where that mummy came from. I want to say it might have came from like the thrift store or something. And then in the plug right there, I just have a little plug in from Bath and Body Works. So now we're at the area when you first come through the front door. And I have this little mirrored, um, I guess it's kind of like an end table. I have this little mirrored end table that I got from Amazon. I get a lot of my pieces from Amazon because they're really good prices. Um, but yeah, I just have this right here so we can put our keys and our sunglasses and all of that stuff. And I have a candle holder from Bath and Body Works, a cute little owl that I got from Dollar General and then I have some candle holders that came from Ross and on the opposite side of the sofa I have another end table and I had to put it right here because as you guys probably noticed um, our living room is made a little odd and because of the fireplace I wasn't able to put the sofa on the main wall because I didn't really want to hang the TV over the fireplace because we're not really sure what we want to do with it right now. So I have this end table right here and it works out really well because that's actually where I put my purse after I've been out and then directly beside it is just a full length mirror and I just use that to check myself before I go out the door. And directly behind the living room is the dining area and I really, really love this space. I've gotten it exactly how I want it um, except for the two pictures on each side of the window. I don't really like those there. I want to get new pictures. But other than that, I really, really love this space. It's pretty much exactly how I wanted it. So yeah, this is the dining room area. And then off to the right is the kitchen. And right here to the left of the dining room table, you guys might recognize this piece. It's actually from the Hayworth collection and it used to be in my makeup room. It was my vanity, but as you guys can tell, it's a little bit too small for somebody like me who has way too much makeup. So I got a bigger um, vanity and I did have this in our room, but it was just taking up too much space. So I figured that it would be really perfect right here. Here's a closer view of the dining room table. I really, really love this table. It took me a while to find the perfect table, but this is definitely like what I envisioned when I thought of the dining room area. So I love, love, love this table. Although it was a pain getting it, like you wouldn't believe all the stuff that I went through with Pier 1 to get this table. But um, yeah, I ended up getting like so many discounts because it was such it was such a runaround, but it was definitely worth it because I really, really love it. So the table is from Pier 1, and the chairs and the little bench on the right side are from Pier 1 as well. Um, the little placemats that I have out, I got those from TJ Maxx. Um, the centerpiece in the middle of the table, I got that from the Dollar Tree. Um, well, I got the vase from... Not sure where I got the vase from. I had it for a while, but I just went and bought a lot of little flowers to put in it. And it was just a really inexpensive way to, to make a centerpiece for the table. And I really love the way that it turned out. It's really, really nice. So I like it a lot. Um, the runner that I have going down the table, it's from Hobby Lobby. And the dishes that I have on each side are from the Dollar Tree as well. And you guys, I'm telling you, do not sleep on the Dollar Tree because they have so many cute things for fall time and Christmas time and just for decorating in general. You can get a lot of cute pieces from them. And the little things that I have in each corner of the room, those are from Kirkland's. And I kind of regretted getting those at first because I've had them for quite some time. When we were in our old place, I had those and I just wasn't really sure what to do with them. But I recently went to Hobby Lobby and I bought these little things to go inside and I just think it made it look so cute and it really goes with just the fall theme that I have in here. So I really, really love the way that those look. 
And these silver candle holders, I got those from Ross. And the candles that are sitting in them, I got from the Dollar Tree, which is where I love to get all of my candles that I'm using for decorations. And the curtains that I have hanging in here, I got those from TJ Maxx. All right, you guys, so that concludes my fall decor home tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye.